G'day Pisces, I hope you are fabulous. We're looking at money and career today and seeing what's coming up for you Pisces. Um, you know, we'll look at what kind of needs to be cleared, but also what is coming ahead and the kind of guidance that may best support you on your money, financial abundance and soul purpose journey. So let's take a look. Dear God, Angel, Spirit, Guides, please share what Pisces needs to know. Thank you, dear Spirit. Oh, just like a deep breath in and a deep breath out is just what I'm getting energetically right now. Um, I hope you're doing well, Pisces. Um, I hope you're feeling fabulous in a sense of whatever it is that you are working towards, trusting in the process, trusting in, in your intuition. One thing that is really important as, you know, being here and um, visiting the channel, which I'm absolutely grateful for to be in service, it's to also remember this is about connecting to your intuition and trusting what resonates for you, where you're like, aha, uh -huh, like that aha uh -huh moment, that's a message for you. Sometimes too, if something's making you feel uncomfortable, pay attention to what that information is, okay? So I want to get started here. Um, for you when it comes to your career path, when it comes to your purpose and when it comes to your, you know, finances, uh, whatever is happening for you right now, I do feel Pisces that you're in, you're in quite a, a mode, a shift, um, like that. The word I'm getting is cellular transformation. It's like you're changing on so many levels, but from within, I think you've recognized that all the work that you've been doing over this um, period, it could be weeks, months, years, you recognize that there's something big coming. You can feel it, okay? Um, and with the Council of Light card, there's divine orchestration, helpers in the subtle realm. And I really do feel this, Pisces. Whatever that you have been asking for, whatever you have been praying for, whatever you have been saying, hey, like, I just need to know where I'm going. Please let me know the direction. I feel, you know, you have that nudge, you have that niggle, you have that feeling within, but it's important to know you are supported and to keep, you know, connecting with spirit, with God, whatever that is for you to help guide you. Again, I think you know the feeling, you know the feeling when it feels right and you also know the feeling when it doesn't, okay? So if there is an offer on the table or there is an opportunity, um, I don't know if some of you are considering um, getting to move, I don't know if or to change or to shift. If there is something that does not feel right in that offer or that opportunity, pay attention to that part of you. There might be other things that seem amazing, but if something, that one thing doesn't feel right, it is really important to pay attention and recognize that that is going to be the thing that will constantly stand out, that will constantly be like this grievance for you that's going to make you feel uncomfortable, frustrated, bitter in whatever it is that you're, that you're considering moving towards. So if that is coming up for you right now, um, again, opportunity, maybe there's a job opportunity, maybe there's a new home you're looking at. Um, something may have not worked out, but you feel like there's this opportunity and you need to grab it. It's just pay attention to the red flags is kind of what I'm getting here and trust in those red flags because they are telling you something. I know, again, like something else might sound wonderful, you know, when you look at the whole package or look at the whole home or look at the whole of something, but please trust within yourself right now. This is really, really important. Spirit is supporting you. Spirit is guiding you, okay? I'm going to get a couple more cards um, on what you need to know here, Pisces regarding career and money. All right. Just one more. There's 
a lot that go out here. But I'm going to take the ones we've actually got three. So let's have a look. So the first card you've got is focus. And this is really interesting because I, I feel this resonates a lot already with the two cards that you have. If you focus on what you don't want, there's a good chance you might get it focused on what you want or do want instead. And this is a really important part for when we want to manifest, when we want to create our, the life that, that we seek. Um, in one of my other readings, you know, I did talk about, I think it was earlier this week for, um, it might've been the full moon energy, but what, when it's important to know what we don't want, so we can go straight away to eliminate it, okay? But if we are sitting in what we don't want or with a partner, with an opportunity and focusing all the things that we don't like, that we don't appreciate, what if we flip the script and said, this is what I do like, this is what I do appreciate. Um, and it's kind of reprogramming ourselves, but helping us attract that okay helping us to look at the good in things even if something doesn't feel right it doesn't mean you need to accept it doesn't need you need to be a part of it but when it comes to what you desire and what you want focus lean into the things that you do want rather than spending the time and energy on what you don't want you've also got the card of intention so what if the only resolution you made was to love yourself more so this could come up when you know to the no is like if you had a friend and this is what's really interesting this other card you've got is a friend <laughs> be a good friend to yourself as to others and that's exactly what i was going to say here if you had a friend that's in a situation that you're in right now making a decision they're telling you look this is so exciting here but i'm really worried about blah blah blah, blah and blah, blah blah again whatever that narrative is what type of advice would you give them? If there was something pretty significant, pretty flag raising, that's great if you want to, you know, support your friend and say, hey, you know, everything will be okay. You know, just give it a go and you can change your mind later. Sure. But there's also this point where if you were in that situation and you're looking at your friend going, honey, I believe that there's something here that you're not feeling congruent with, that you're not feeling right with trust in that right? That's what, that's what a real friend does. Sometimes I was that person who just wanted, you know, to comfort my friends, to let them know that they're always supported no matter what decision they make, which is great. But if you are recognizing the red flags, cause you've been in that situation before, you've seen that before and how it plays out, it could be like in a relationship with someone who's just not showing up the way that their friend needs. How can you best support them? Give them the best, um, I guess if they're seeking advice, support, and words of wisdom from you what is the best way that you can show up for your friend but that is in alignment for you and I want I think it's just an important time for you to remember that you're allowed to be that friend to yourself you're allowed to have those boundaries you're allowed to stand up for the things that you actually don't want versus again in some way in some path there is something that you are seeking so what are you focusing on to attract the parts that are that you don't want? Why are you attracting those parts that you don't want? If there is something super clear that you desire right now, Pisces, pay attention to that and focus in on that. Anything else that comes in your path, if it's not getting you closer to where you want to be, pay attention to that, okay? There's a lot of, I feel like, intuition, um, intent and focus right now but also giving yourself the support that you need to move forward to create the life that you really really want maybe money is a focus right now for you so you you're kind of like oh my god this opportunity financially you know is so wonderful or this new home it's maybe saving you money or it's giving you more space whatever you've needed and you didn't have to spend any more money but there's just something that isn't right and you know it and you need to trust it, okay? Um, money, at the end of the day, while it can give us some form of stability and security, if the rest of our world is not in support of that because it's giving us anxiety, making us feel, you know, have nightmares, um, is just carrying around this dark cloud above our head, that is not where you want to be, okay? This is about living your full and your best life forward. And I feel that's a really strong message that's coming on through. And I want to let you know that um, I've actually been building companies for, for many years and I had a tech company and 
I needed to pay attention to how I started to feel. I started to get anxiety. I started to feel these things that I don't normally feel. And it was because of other people in that I was spending my time with that just it didn't feel right. And I kept my self-worth went down like a lot it started impacting me in ways that I don't even recall the last time I've felt that way and I don't know the last time I've had anxiety that way you know it was like my phone would ding and it's just like I could feel this panic within me because I didn't want to deal with my business partners anymore they just were on a very different view of the world on the way that businesses could be run Obviously, I'm more soulful. I really care about my clients. Money is wonderful. But I knew to grow my business, I needed to focus my heart and energy into the, into the clients or customers on what they needed, on how we could best support them. They were just looking at silver bullet, bullet money and not considering, you know, the foundation the brand, the sole part of the business. And it just became so unaligned and just so gross and dirty that I eventually exited my own company because it wasn't in alignment with who I, who I am as a person. And that wasn't an easy decision. But the day I left, I have freed myself from anything that I have felt. I haven't felt any anxiety, any restless sleep, anything like that since that day um, I left. It was the, uh, the most profound relief I have had. Um, and it's why I just like, it's coming here, like trust, trust in that part of you. Okay. Trust in that part of you. Um, I'm just going to pop these over here. All right. Let's have a look at what messages we've got coming out for you Pisces yeah so what I'm getting straight up here Pisces is that you could possibly be in a place of again setting the attention wanting to manifest perhaps you've you've had the success before you've had the stability you've had that joy and comfort before so you know what it's like okay um and if you are seeking more like you want to achieve more in your life when it comes to your financial successes perhaps you want to be more financially independent it's letting you know that one you're allowed to have that i think it's important in believing and trusting in that I do feel with the Ten of Pentacles and Four of Swords is that you had worked towards something that was strong, foundational, where you felt secure and just supported. I think you were in a really wonderful place and perhaps something happened where um, like perhaps similar to my situation where something didn't feel right or something just didn't work out and Perhaps you left that in some regard behind and then you've stepped into the four of swords energy where it's kind of like you need to recalibrate, you need to recharge, you need to like repower who you are, what it is that you want and where you want to go. Okay. It doesn't mean that anything's wrong, but I think what's really interesting, just her face on here, it's like, I feel like, oh my goodness, how did I get here? Or also thinking so hard of what you're meant to be doing next. And maybe, um, you know, there was a period of time where you weren't getting the answers that you were seeking. And it was, it's a divine thing, right? Where it was like, no, nope, take the time, Pisces. Just take time, breathe, surrender, relax. Everything will come together how it's meant to come together. It's just not right now. So we had to get you away or move or shift from whatever that you once were, even if there's some sadness there, even if there is some disappointment there, uh, like trust, because then you're moving to the four of wands energy. And this is about, again, moving towards taking action to what gives you that that joy that gives you that, that friendly warmth, you know, it's like, I feel like you're being invited in with this four, four of ones energy, which is really interesting. Um, I've never got that from this before, but I feel like you're being invited in. They're like prepared to, to celebrate. They're prepared to, I don't know. It's like they're going somewhere. She's holding a basket. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm trying to remove the glare, but she's holding a basket and, you know, flowers, it's like to come, they're coming to say thanks. Again, perhaps you're going to get some form of invitation to celebrate, um, 
to be a part of something that you've always wanted to be a part of. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting here with the four of wands energy. Um, so pay attention again with this four of swords energy being in rest, you are, you want to work towards and manifest this 10 of pentacles. Okay. There is no doubt about that. Uh, again, I feel a lot of you had that stability. You had that. It could have been in a marriage. It could have been in a career. And just there's something that's just shifted it up, but it's meant to, it's meant to be for you. There's divine orchestration here. Where you were, you weren't meant to be. And if being there was for that time, for that purpose, but there's going to be something specific, I feel, that's going to come out of that experience that's going to help you get where you need to go to do something more wonderful because I always – I like to always believe there is something better on the other side of any pain, of any um, disappointment, of any hurt um, or anything that just hasn't felt right. When you start focusing on what you want, when you start focusing on your inner self and your inner light and trusting in the process, handing that over to God and surrendering, that can make such a difference and such a shift. And why I like to, you know, connect into oracle to car to tarot to spirit i really look at this and even astrology because that's something that um, I'm, I'm big focusing on right now is it's being true to yourself but this helps just give you guidance and clarity to connect more into your intuition and again sometimes that one message that you need to go okay i got it now thank you i just need that confirmation or again you're feeling that niggle and here we are and you're getting again the information that you need it's kind of like in its own way it can be like a, a counseling support session obviously this is you know a general reading in nature it's not going to resonate for everyone this is not like professional therapy or anything like this but I do find this can give you know profound guidance and clarity to help you move forward in your best light in your best self so whatever's coming on in Pisces trust trust in that wherever you're being invited in there's going to be something wonderful there perhaps again it's spirit that's talking to you um or you know you're writing you're scribing whatever's coming your soul is talking to you your higher self is talking to you connecting you in and it's letting you know there's going to be opportunity there's going to be an event there's going to be something that you should be taking action towards or moving towards. So that time of rest is going to come to an end if it hasn't already for you to start leaning in to what gives you that joy and what lights you up. So start doing, start creating. And I think too, it's important time to get start getting connected to people, places and things that make you feel good. And I again, I feel you're going to start attracting more, um, more joy to make you feel at home, okay, is what I'm getting here. With a six of cups energy, this is, again, I feel an opportunity is coming on in. So perhaps going to this event, perhaps going to wherever you're going here with the four of wands. Um, and again, it could be out of the blue. It's like you've been rested and someone comes in and said, hey, you know, Sue, like, let's go over here. There's this thing on. I'd love you to come with me. It's like, okay, get up and go. You know, if you're getting a yes, um, versus a no because you can't be bothered or can't you know feeling a bit lazy or feeling a bit um just not energized start that process is going to help you you know get out and about um with the six of cups i do feel that you're potentially going to connect in with someone that you once knew or whatever that you were once working on and kind of let it sit for a while because you needed to take that rest and you kind of felt a bit like unsure of what your next step or your next move is. I feel that that's going to arrive again. That new opportunity is going to come again, that new spark, that new joy. It could be someone also coming into your life that you haven't connected with before. This could even be an ex with the four of wands energy and six of cups. This could be someone that perhaps you've worked with in the past, um, an old boss, uh, someone that you I do feel that you enjoyed okay like you enjoyed being around it could be an old colleague and perhaps they've got a larger job you know um or a friend uh an associate of some kind that you have known from past uh, experiences perhaps they're coming around and they're like you know what you are pretty freaking awesome. I haven't seen you in forever. I am doing this and I've got this opportunity or I want to partner with you in this. I feel that's what's coming around. Um, and when I say an ex, the reason I was mentioning an ex coming back in is because we've got the four of wands. I kind of feel like there could be someone from your past, an old 
person, an old lover as well, um, that may pop in the scene for you. Again, this is not going to be for everyone, but that's kind of what I'm getting here. And then we've got the chariot and the three of pentacles. So this is really cool, Pisces. Wherever you start taking action towards, because you will start taking action, I think you will definitely see that spark and that surge of energy come again as you start doing. Uh, I think that's a really important thing to start doing and being a part of people and, and things that make you feel good. And you start taking energy towards that, you're going to start seeing opportunities further arise because you're in that vibration, you're in that attraction energy. Um, and the three of pentacles, that too, that's what the three of pentacles is about. That's like some leader, someone that is here to help mentor you to create that stability and the new foundation that you are seeking. That is what this three of pentacles means for, for, um, me in, when I'm reading this reading, it's like, there is someone coming on in and this could be this person you're taking direction towards, and they're going to help you really create something strong and powerful doing what it is that lights you up and you will start getting the financial rewards and the financial gains. Now I'm going to um, clarify here. I'm going to get my beautiful fountain deck. Okay. Let's see what we need to know. Thank you. Yeah, so the, the Ten of Pentacles, you've got the King of Coins. So whatever that you're working towards, Pisces, this is about creating your stability and getting back into the strength that you desire. And again, I feel perhaps there was someone in your life who provided you that. Um, and it's, it's an interesting energy because it could be someone who provided you that, but it wasn't – you didn't want to be reliant on that anymore. You wanted to start – for yourself, do things for yourself, have that financial independence for yourself is kind of what I'm getting here. Okay. Yeah. I think, you know, the stability that you once had, something showed up for you that just didn't feel exactly right. I think, you know, that part of the energy was kind of a little bit un unstable. You weren't sure what was coming, going, uh, whatever position or area you're in, perhaps it was someone that you were working with, but perhaps it was, like I said before, you were married, had a partner that provided a lot of that financial stability. But for you, there was just something that was revealed that didn't feel right. And I feel you moved on from that. Um, but you want to get back to that energy of having your own success and having your own stability without relying on other people. So what I mean, relying on other people, for some of you, it could be going into entrepreneurship because that is where you've been dabbling for a while and you recognize that you want the freedom and you want the flexibility. You've got wonderful ideas. You really care about people and you want to do that kind of work that is the right work for you that gives you that yes energy. Then there's going to be some of you that, you know, want to level up in your career, working with a really fun, a really supportive team, you know, where there's no drama, there's no, no bullshit, you know? Um, so that I do feel that's coming up for you as well and creating that stability. There are a lot of cards that are flying on out, but I'm just going to take this three cards there. I don't know if you can see that. So we've got the judgment card, the nine of wands and the chariot. So with the four of swords energy, what I'm getting straight away here, there was some decision that was made. Okay. Whatever here, whether you made the decision, whether they made the decision, um, whether, you know, just truly divine intervention, there was something that happened. Um, like I said, that from the energy that I'm getting and who, are, who, you know, whom I'm reading for here, there was a decision made. And in a way you knew this was coming. You knew you had that, and you had that, you had that pull, you had that feeling, right? And then with the nine of wands energy, there were, there's a part of you that like, you just had been fighting for so long, trying to make things work, trying to make it right. And you're just like, I can't, I can't keep doing this. And that's where, you know, you, that's where the rest is coming in. That's where the four of swords energy has come in is because you weren't, you didn't want to fight this uphill battle anymore. You were taking action towards something that didn't feel right. The foundational part for you wasn't 
right you know he's going up here the pyramid you know getting to to the top is can be a wonderful thing you know there's the tipping point but as you're building as you were going it was more you were fighting to align it to get it right so you decided to go a different direction and move towards something else but I also feel this is you coming out of now that rest energy because you do want to take action I mean you've got the chariot card there again so this is a lot of about you taking action and moving towards what it is and what it, what you desire okay so we're going to move to the four of wands and you've got the magician energy with the fountain Yeah. So I think right now, Pisces, whatever you want to create, you can create. I think what's super important is recognizing where and what lights you up and standing up for what you believe in. OK, if there's, you know, if along the path, along the way, people have, you know, doubted you, haven't felt, you know, haven't had your back the way that you would have your back or their back, I should say, and vice versa, you know, how you support yourself, you shouldn't, you shouldn't take anything less than what you deserve, um, you know, there's, kindness goes a long way, a smile goes a long way, just being a good human goes a long way, it doesn't mean it's always going to be right or wrong, everyone has their own view of the world, but being treated with kindness, being treated with care, I think that's a, that's a human, a human um, right and a human decency you know with here with the four of wands and the fountain and the seven of wands this is now your time to start creating again Pisces okay if you've been in that stillness I do feel you're taking action towards that maybe you've been journaling maybe you've been you know just putting things together doing a bit of research on what it is that you actually want to do perhaps you're looking at new jobs you're connecting with people again that you know but as I said there's an invitation coming but this is part of your manifesting because once you start getting into mode and moving you're going to start attracting more and more but again it's focusing on what you do want okay and with this seven of wands energy again this is standing up for your truth what it is that you truly want and desire and moving towards that so whatever this invitation is that's coming up you know again you may not be in the mode to do it or you maybe are questioning whether or not this is right for you there's something there that I feel you should be paying attention to so I don't know if an opportunity is going to come in but I feel this invitation is important for you you to attend and you to move towards and take action towards on this occasion if it's just for a few hours like just just go there I feel there's something relevant and important that you will connect or take away from that you know without expectation right because this is not for everyone but I feel that there's some importance there for you so again, you've got the page of page of coins and the six of cups. So there's definitely an offer, offer an opportunity coming on in um, from someone in regards to the past that you have connected with, someone that you've enjoyed working with before. Um, I'm definitely getting that here. Wow, yeah. So the high priestess. So I think this is going to be an unexpected offer and opportunity but at the same time I think you've been feeling like something big is coming towards you um, and whatever it is it you know perhaps is there's been someone that you've known from the past that you've been watching or connecting to um, behind the scenes you know they haven't known and just somehow you bump into them and again this this person I feel like you've not you know this person and I think in some way you you actually used to know them pretty well um it's like you've called them in but they're also going to share something with you that uh, and I think this is a new opportunity I really really do with the six of cups you know there's an offer the page of coins is an offer and this is around your career with the high priestess I think this is two this comes in two parts your intuition something showing up and being revealed to you that you kind of knew was coming but you weren't exactly sure what it is but also trusting in your intuition when this offer and opportunity comes towards you it doesn't mean you have to be and do and work with this person it could be that it's helped spark for you to take action towards what it is that you want to do wherever you've been Pisces or I should say where you're going there there's definitely something that you're going to be moving towards but also moving away from to get towards your nine of cups okay but things are going to be revealed is what I'm getting um 
yeah. You're moving towards your truth. You're moving towards what is important to you. Um, and moving away from this eight of cups and also moving away from this 10 of swords. It's like you've been done sitting here feeling that, um, I'm going to get some more clarity here, please on the chariot. Thank you. Yeah. Look, the 10 of coins, that's where you're moving towards Pisces. That's where you're taking action towards. And I think that's coming up pretty significantly here. You've got the 10 of coins twice. You had it up front, which is more related to your past. Now, you again, I feel like you've just, you've awakened to something. You've got this download. You've got this information that you needed and you're starting to take action towards it. You're moving away from anything that has made you just not feel good. You're at the end of that rest cycle, that whatever those parts that had just been hanging on to you a bit, you are moving away from it and moving towards this 10 of coins energy and opportunity that's rising up for you. So let's have a look at the three of pentacles, please, spirit. Thank you. So, oh, wow. So queen of cups, king of cups, and then the eight of swords. So whatever's happening or coming in for you, Pisces, I'm just going to, whatever's coming on in for you, this is about a powerful opportunity. Whoever's coming in, I feel that this is a, a connection that is going, sorry, that's a knight of cups and the queen of cups. But the energy that I'm getting is whoever's coming on in for you. Um, again, there's an opportunity that's going to rise you up. And I feel in its own way, it's really interesting. I feel that this is a power, a power suit. And here is why I believe this. The queen of cups energy. I feel that this knight of cups, whoever they are, they're going to be like a, um, if you think of the knight, the knight is loyal. Okay. This is the knight of cups. This is someone who is loyal, who has heart. It doesn't mean that it's a man. It's just, this is masculine energy. Okay. I feel you're going to get someone that's going to come through in support of you. This could be again, the mentor with the three, three of pentacles energy, but whoever's coming in is going to have your back is going to support you through your journey and where you're going towards. And I think this is going to be a, a soulmate energy in respect to help you achieve your goals, your dreams, but it's a, it's, it's an even one. It's not like they're just there for you. You aren't there for them. This is about, I think finally this person who's come in or coming on in, it's like, again, building that sense of security from within not being in this. Okay. Not being in the eight of swords energy where you're feeling like, how can I make this happen? Like, why is this happening to me? No, I feel like this is coming on in because there's still doubt for some reason and it could be from some past experiences but these are just little I feel these are like mind mind little head fucks that are coming on in now and then things that are messing around with you where you're getting your doubt and whatever else and they're going to help you through this okay whatever is coming on in this again it could be a, it could be a mentor it could be a business partner it could be um a, a lover there's no doubt about this, but I don't feel a loving, intimate sexual relationship. I just feel like it's a relationship of just strength, camaraderie, loyalty, and has you back. And they're really going to help you through any doubts that you may have to get you where you need to go with this three of pentacles, creating that stability, this new offer. You've got offers coming on in to get you and provide you this 10 of coins energy moving towards this, creating this Pisces. Okay. So I'm just going to pull out one more card on your power in this situation and what you need to know. All right. Thank you, spirit. For... Yeah. So this is about trusting in the process. Whatever is happening for you, it's open right now to what you want to call in Pisces. Okay. Nothing is yet set in stone. This is about flowing into your truth, what it is that you desire. And if things shift and change along the way, that is okay. Trust in the process. Being flexible, that, that gives space for spirit to 
to give you what it is that you're meant to be doing, where you're meant to be going. Okay. So trust in that. There is a lot happening, Pisces. I'm feeling it too. Um, but again, trust in the process, trust in yourself and your intuition. Um, and remember you are supported along the way. If you feel connected, I invite you to like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep bringing more of this, but I'd love to hear your story if you wish to share and this resonates. Catch you later.